The Lord be with you. Thank you for joining us today here at Christ Our Savior Lutheran Church in Holland, Michigan for daily prayer on this October the 26th. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Listen to my prayer, O God, do not ignore my plea. Hear me and answer me. Evening, morning, and noon, I cry out in distress, and he hears my voice. Cast your cares upon the Lord, and he will sustain you. He will never let the righteous fall. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. On this 26th day of October, we remember Philippi Nicoli, Johann Hermann, and Paul Gerhardt, all hymn writers who lived in the 16th and 17th centuries. We remember them and the hymns that they wrote for the church. The psalm that is appointed for this day is Psalm 12. Save, O Lord, for the godly one is gone, for the faithful have vanished from among the children of man. Everyone utters lies to his neighbor. With flattering lips and a double heart they speak. May the Lord cut off all the flattering lips, the tongue that makes great boasts. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are with us. Who is master over us? Because the poor are plundered, because the needy groan, I will now arise, says the Lord. I will place him in the safety for which he longs. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined in a furnace, on the ground purified seven times. You, O Lord, will keep them. You will guard us from this generation forever. On every side the wicked prowl, as vileness is exalted among them, the children of man. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our Old Testament reading comes from Deuteronomy, continuing Deuteronomy, today the 28th chapter, verses 1 through 22, entitled, Blessings for Obedience and Curses for Disobedience. Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, beginning at the first verse. And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemy, enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way, and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your barns and in all that you undertake, and he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God has given you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself, as he has sworn to you. If you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, and all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in prosperity in the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock and in the fruit of your ground within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail. And you shall only go up and not down if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today. Be careful to do them. And if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I command you today, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. But if you will not obey the voice of the Lord your God, or be careful to do all his commandments and his statutes that I command you today, then all these curses shall come upon you and overtake you. Cursed shall you be in the city, and cursed shall you be in the field. Cursed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. Cursed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground, the increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Cursed shall you be when you come in, and cursed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will send on you curses, confusion and frustration in all that you undertake to do, until you are destroyed and perish quickly, on account of the evil of your deeds, because you have forsaken me. The Lord will make the pestilence stick to you until he has consumed you off the land that you are entering to take possession of it. The Lord will strike you with wasting disease and with fever, inflammation, and fiery heat, and 
and with drought and with blight and with mildew. They shall pursue you until you perish. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our New Testament reading, continuing the Gospel of St. Matthew. Today we have the 18th chapter, verses 1 through 20. Who is the greatest? Temptations to sin, the parable of the lost sheep, and if your brother sins against you. Again, Matthew, the 18th chapter, beginning at the first verse. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And calling to him a child, he put him in the midst of them and said, Truly I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Whoever receives one such child in my name receives me. But whoever causes one of these little ones who believes in me to sin, it would be better for him to have a great millstone fastened around his neck and to be drowned in the depth of the sea. Woe to the world for temptations to sin, for it is necessary that temptations come, but woe to the one by whom the temptation comes. And if your hand on your foot, if your hand or your foot causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life crippled or lame than with two hands or two feet to be thrown into the eternal fire. And if your eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to enter life with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into the hell of fire. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I tell you that in heaven their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. What do you think? If a man has a hundred sheep and one of them has gone astray, does he not leave the ninety-nine in the mountains and go in search of the one that went astray? And if he finds it, truly I say to you, he rejoices over it more than over the ninety-nine that never went astray. So it is not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault, between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again I say to you, if two of you agree on earth about anything they ask, it will be done for them by my Father in heaven. For where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The prayer of the day. Almighty God, the Apostle Paul taught, uh, taught us to praise you in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. We thank you this day for those who have given to your church great hymns, especially your servants, Philip Nicolai, Johann Herrmann, and Paul, Paul Gerhardt. May your church never lack hymn writers who through their words and music give you praise. Fill us with the desire to praise and thank you for your great goodness through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. We pray together as he has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. We lift to God in prayer. Art and Rick, Melissa and Clifford, Helen, Mary Ann, Anne, Dennis, Kathy, Jane, Marilyn, Chris, Arlene, and Colleen. Heavenly Father, send your Holy Spirit into our hearts to direct and rule us according to your will, to comfort us in all of our afflictions, to defend us from all error, and to lead us into all truth. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Amen.